Hey there, budding botanists. I'm Aaron. And I'm Evie. And we're just a couple of backyard botanists, and this is Botany, Botany for Kids. Kids. So today, we're going to review gymnosperms. Gymnosperms means naked seed. And remember, all that means is that the seeds aren't wrapped up in something like a fruit. Like in this old, old, orange. old orange we found in the kitchen that's rotting, that needs to be put on the compost bin. Um, so, gymnosperms do not have fruit. <laughs> okay. Well, what is a gymnosperm then? Well, this cycad is a type of gymnosperm. What does this look like that we've seen before? It looks like a fern. Yeah, this kind of looks like a fern, but unlike a fern, it does not have spores. It kind of also even looks like a palm tree. Some people even call these palms, but they are mistaken. Yeah. Yeah, that's a misconception. That's a misconception. Very good, Evie. So, Palm trees have fruit. In fact, coconuts are a type of fruit. We call them stone fruits because they look like uh, stones or rocks. And they're hard. And they're really hard, right? I have milk. So this baby cycad is a type of gymnosperm. Gymnosperms are usually trees, okay? Now, this cycad does not have spores. It does not have fruit. So what does it have? It, it usually has a thing shaped like a cone filled with naked seeds. Where have we seen cones before? Well, we have some pine cones here, and I'm trying to be as tall as you. You trying to be as tall as me? Well, sit up. You got that? Very good. So, we've seen cones before in, in pine trees. Pines are a type of conifer. Can you say conifer? Conifer. Conifer. The word conifer actually almost has the word cone in it, like conifer. Conifers. Yes, we have a few naked pine cones. So, conifers are usually evergreens, which means they keep their leaves all year long. Pine trees are a type of conifer. Junipers are also a type of conifer. Pine trees have needles yeah. as, as their leaves. E Pointy. Evie's no stranger to needles because she's a diabetic and has to have shots every time she has a I'm meal. I'm type 1 and I'm way, and I'm way off. She's rare. She's a type 1 diabetic. So, pine trees have needles. Junipers have scales for their leaves. Where have you heard the word scales? Um, you have a sub that has an amphibian on it that has um, scales. A lizard. A reptile? Yes. Yes, we've seen them. Where else have you seen scales, like on TV? Mermaids have scales, right? We call these scales from a juniper. We call these leaves scales from a <laughs> juniper, right? You could imagine this to be a little lizard or something, right? Oh, okay, now, so conifers are evergreens that also have naked seeds inside of cones. Now, this is a girl cone. Hold that for me. You've probably seen lots of girl cones before. This is the this is a cone from a sugar pine, which is the largest, the longest pine cone in the world, right here. There you go. It's really sticky, right? Um, so you've probably seen plenty of girl cones. You've probably never noticed boy cones before. That's because they're really small. Boy cones are much smaller, and they look like this. They have pollen inside. They do, they have pollen inside of them. You've probably heard of pollen. In fact, if we hit these boy cones, I don't know if you can see that dust or not, but they release pollen. You've probably seen pollen, where do you see pollen? On your car. On your car, on the, roof. on the roof of your house. You see it all over the place. So the pollen is released from the boy pine cones. Sticky thumb. Yeah, sticky thumb released from the boy pine cones. It flies all over the place, but it also flies into the girl pine cone. The pollen goes right in here and it makes a seed and the pine cone squeezes shut and it will open up and release the seeds. But have you ever seen pine cone seeds before? Mm -mm. You probably haven't. And that, they close up when they do that cycle? Yeah, they close up when they, they're making the seeds. They open up and they release the seeds in the wind. But you may have never noticed them because they release the seeds and then 
they're all gone before the pine cone gets old and falls to the ground. In fact, some pine cones can't even open without fire. They need a fire to open up and release their seeds, which means that in nature, fire is good sometimes. Good. Yes, fires can be but good. But they also can be very bad. They can also be bad. But for some pines, they need fire to open up and release their seeds, okay? So, conifers, pine trees are a type of conifer, junipers are a type of conifers, and conifers Conifer are- Conifer is a good last name. Conifer is a good last name. Conifers are a type of gymnosperm. They make naked seeds, right? Just like cycads. Cycads, this one's too young to make their own cones, but when they grow big, they'll make something that's shaped like a cone that also has naked seeds on the inside, right? This is a much smaller pine cone, right? Yeah. Okay, so when you get a chance, head outside, see if you can find some evergreens or some conifers. Outside with a responsible adult. With a responsible adult okay. and see, see if you can find some pine, some pine needles, some junipers, maybe. See if you can find some girl pine cones. Maybe even see if you can find some boy pine cones. See if you can find the pine tree that's short enough to grab Boys. Right, exactly. That's a good idea. Get a lot of. And if you find any of those, then you found a gymnosperm, something that has naked seeds inside of its cones. As always, I'm Aaron. And I'm Amy. And this is Botany, Botany for Kids. kids. Your hands are covered in sap. Hey there, everybody. Hey, my own. <laughs> hey there, budding botanist. I'm Aaron. <laughs> and we're just a couple of backyard botanists, and this is Botany, Botany for Kids. Good job, Aaron. <laughs> Hey there, everybody. Hey there, budding botanist. Hey there, budding botanist. Uh, I'm Aaron. Who are you? <laughs> <laughs> and we're just a couple of backyard botanists, and this is Botany, Botany for Kids. <laughs> All right. Hey there, everybody. Hey there, budding botanist. Uh, hey there, budding botanist. <laughs> I keep messing that up. I'm Aaron. And I'm Evie. And we're just a couple of backyard botanists. What? This, this took like eight times. You can't say that.